Hey everybody, um, <clears throat> so uh, I um, I got asked about how I use uh, Notion again. Um, well actually, so one of my friends asked me about Notion and then I was bragging about Notion and all the cool stuff that you can do in it to some people that I was playing in a game with yesterday. <laughs> so I wanted to do a short little video because I don't know if I've ever like fully explain this. I think I've done a live stream where I was doing world building and then I've talked about different um, free um, uh, world building tools for DMs and stuff. But I'll show you how I use this uh, software both as a player and as a DM. I use it way more as a DM, but um, it's super useful as a player too. Like I'm a player in uh, Ram of the Frost Maiden. And then these are all of my notes from uh, from the game itself. And then um, <clears throat> uh, there's lots of NPCs and there's lots of towns uh, in the 10 towns. Well, there's 10, but uh, I have all kinds of uh, notes and stuff. Um, I guess beware minor spoilers for uh, Rum, Rum of the Frost Maiden. But let's see, let's go to my notes on um, Rourke. Um, so Rourke is the uh, the uh, the town speaker of uh, Cairdenaval. So um, one of the things that I can do in here, it, well, I can, you know, I have my notes. I know that I like Rourke. I remember who he is. But I can also put a hot link in here to uh, Cairdenaval. So I've already made a page for Cairdenaval because it's, um, it's in my, um, uh, it's in my, my maps page. But if I, if I want to have that in this person's notes, so I can just link them up and go straight to Cairdenaval. And then I have my map of Cairdenaval and, uh, oh, and I know that Rourke is the town speaker. So if I click on Rourke, it'll go back to his page, right? And uh, the same thing is true for, um, like, uh, in in one of my games, like, there is so much stuff in here. Um, just to give you an example, like, let's see, let's go to setting, right? And then let's go to planets, just as an example, because this is more of like a universe. This is for stars without number. Um, <clears throat> so I have um, a planet naming convention, right? So uh, if I go over here, I wish I could, I can't quite move this over. Um, <clears throat> like this is my only planet right now, um, but it's life viable desert mining world 426, which is a nod to alien. Um, life viable or, or LV four two six and alien is life viable four two six. So, um, but you can see that I have all of these like tags that go along with planets. That, um, but like if I if I want to look at my desert worlds, I know that New Eden is one of them, right? Or my life viable planets, I know that New Eden is one of them. So like there's all kinds of ways that you can use this software as a reactive database. Um, I don't want to show too much of what's in uh, Fear Factory because um, one of the people that I want to show this video is to is my is one of my players. So um, but let's let's go ahead and make one of these real quick. All right. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this new game. And um, <clears throat> this is just going to be the the blank um, the blank page for that where all of my notes go for for a new game, right? So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and make a database. So this this um, the kind of like the default drop down is just a backslash. So you do a backslash, and then it gives you all kinds of options all kinds of things that you can do with the page. Um, so I'm just going to make a new page. 
And then that, you see that that creates that dropdown, where if I go there, then that's, that's where that dropdown is. And then I'm going to make a game database. And um, this is just going to be the catch-all. This is where everything goes. Everything that's in the game, every note that I ever take, it's all going to go in here. So I'm just going to create a simple database, just a table. Um, and I'm going to create a new database. So basically everything, you know, just everything goes here. So let's say that I want to make a player character. So I'm going to make um, Anton Sevier. Um, and then <clears throat> Again, all kinds of stuff that I can put in here. I'm just going to put a picture. Um, this can be Anton. Okay, and then I can put in like all kinds of information about him. Uh, spacer. Rough. Roughneck. Um, Uh, and yeah, I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff that can go in here to this page, right? So that's going to be my first page. And then, uh, say that I, uh, I meet a, an NPC, um, and, uh, this person's name is Morris. So I'm going to start organizing things, right? So I'm going to put in here, I'm going to use a tag. And then the tag is just going to be NPC for now. In fact, I'll, I'll give him a picture. And like, I especially use this if I'm uh, GM because um, like, say that I want to describe what what Morris looks like. And I'm like, oh, she's, you know, like early 30s. She has a, a bald head with um, some, you know, like racing stripes carved into the side. And she's got a few battle scars. She looks like she really knows how to handle herself, you know. And, uh, and then I can put all of my notes in that are related to her. Um, but so let's go back to Anton real quick, right? So I'm going to put tags in here and I'm going to put um, player character. And um, I'm actually, so I'm, I'll put in that, um, that he is from uh, series two. So, um, and then say that, uh, um, Morris has a, um, combat shotgun. I can put weapon. And even, um, uh, whoops. Weapon and projectile. So you see where this is going, right? Like the more the more notes that you get, um, the more the more useful this becomes because you can organize things more and more. Um, so like the, I could put a stat block in here, where I know exactly what a combat shotgun does, and then I can say, oh, Morris has a um, loves her combat. Shotgun. And then I can put a link in there to Combat Shotgun. In fact, I already have one in Fear Factory in that game database, but I'm going to put the link in this one. So I can link multiple databases together. Like say that you create a giant deba database for one game, and then you want to use all of the stuff that's in there. Um, you can do that. 
But um, so we've got our, our database, right? So let's start organizing things. So I'm gonna make a page for um, just uh, player characters. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and put in a, um, I'm gonna uh, put in another database, right? Um, and uh, this is where, this is where, um, this is the cool part. So I can just put in a database and then I can link things together or I can do a, uh, a linked database. So um, what this is gonna let me do is it's going to let me make a, um, a copy of, of the existing database that I've already made in this game. So it shows you the drop-down folder. It shows you that this is the game database for new game. So I'm going to use this one. And then this basically just creates um, a, a complete copy of that database. So any changes that I make here, um, like Anton, um, he uh, doesn't like Earthers, right? So if I go um, and then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put a filter on player characters. So what this is going to do is it's going to block out anything that doesn't have the, the tag player character on it. So the only thing that's going to show up here is, um, is, is anybody who has the tag player characters. And then likewise, I can make one for, um, for NPCs. So, um, but this is, this is another, one of the really cool things, right? <coughs> so if I go here and then I click, um, filter tags NPC, then it's going to, um, <clears throat> it's going to filter out everything that doesn't have the tag NPC. But then if I make a new NPC, it's automatically going to put the tag NPC on there, and uh, and then if I call this person um, and uh, and then I create a new NPC, um, then that person is automatically going to show up in the the root game database. So because those get those databases are linked up. Um, <clears throat> And then I usually just put the, the database on the bottom and then organize things up here however I want. Like the more and more stuff that I get, like say that I I have just too much stuff here, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna create a folder um, for um, char uh, characters. So I'm gonna drag all I'm gonna drag uh, characters up here, and then I'm gonna put player characters and NPCs into characters to kind of clean things up, right? But the cool thing is, is that um, no matter where I go, because all these databases are linked up, I just have my big folder, my, my game database, that's the catch-all. And then I have um, uh, folders for everything else. But also in here, say that I, uh, say that I want to search for uh, for tags, right? I can do that too. Like I can I can um, <clears throat> I can go up here, and then I can search uh, Hannah, and then only things that have Hannah in them. No, that's not maybe that's not as good of a. But like say that um, Morris, um, there was some some a whole storyline involving Morris, right? 
So, um, uh, obviously, you know, she, she has that tag on her because it's her, but like, say that, um, I have like some session notes or something, um, where, um, uh, uh, that involved Hannah or, or sorry, uh, Morris. So I could put Morris in here and then I could put, um, uh, whoever else, you know, if it's related to them. And, uh, and then, um, uh, you know, I can, I can hot link their name. I can say, oh, um, Morris, uh, hires the players to, uh, bomb the high, high wind facility. Um, <clears throat> and then this can be, uh, session. Uh, so then I can go back out and then create um, a new page for my uh, session notes. And then put the filter on their session. So yeah, I mean, that's how I use it. That's like the, the broad strokes, but if you get a big game where there is like tons and tons of stuff going on, lots of NPCs, lots of towns, lots of, you know, lots and lots of notes, and then you need to go back and look up something like, like, oh, what did, you know, what did we do in, um, uh, in Lonely, like, where did we meet this person? Why, you know, why are we, why are we looking for this person and this person? it becomes like super, super useful. And even more so if you're a DM and then you need to keep track of all that stuff, it's like, it's super, super useful. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to, you know, just show how I, how I do that. Um, and then, um, you know, how it can organize your notes and just kind of make your life a lot easier as a player character, but especially as a GM. So yeah, all right, that's gonna be it you guys. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one.